Hi, I'm Susan van der Velen, um, and my business is Oriol Alterations and I'm a seamstress that specialises in bridal wear. I first heard about Breakthrough about, oh it must be about two years ago now, um, one of my um, friends that I play roller derby with, she used to work for Breakthrough and um, she heard that I was starting to do different things and looking at starting a business and she said that it was worth getting in touch and it really was, so that was really helpful. Originally my plan was to um, have some tents that were going to be um, with packages of various different things that you could add on to have a really great glamping experience with the idea being that somebody could book a um, pitch anywhere in Cornwall and that I would go put up the tent, make it beautiful, make sure they had an amazing time um, and then pack it all away at the end. So rather than being tied to a specific place, I could be wherever they wanted to be. Uh, that was the original plan and that was going to be great. I got the tents, everything was sorted with that and then suddenly I had a a um, message pop up on my Facebook feed that was these guys here at uh, the Bridal House of Cornwall saying that they were looking for a new seamstress to join the team, not as a job but as somebody who was going to be freelance, self-employed and use their room um, alongside their other seamstress and I thought this is kind of a dream come true, that would be amazing, I'm never going to get it, this is madness and I spoke to my breakthrough mentor at the time, Lucy. He said, well, just, why not? <laughs> have a go, see what happens. It's fine, and it's fine as well to drop that idea that I'd originally have of the tents and the glamping and to just do whatever seemed to be right at that particular moment. So I went for that um, and they said that they really wanted me. And so that's when I went from having a very small seamstressing um, kind of doing little bits of seamstressing for a sportswear company to suddenly becoming a bridal uh, seamstress and putting my glamping tent things on the back burner. So I now have amazing holidays in these gorgeous tents. But, you know, that clearly wasn't quite meant to be at that moment. Um, and this has all amazing things have come from it instead. Well, a really key breakthrough moment for me was Pivot. So in the, um, one of the uh, workshops, they talked about that you need to actually be aware of the business, aware of what's going to work at that particular moment. It's not helpful to just have, this is the plan, this is what we're going to do, can't look at anything else, because that's when you end up, I think, having something that can't develop and evolve and become something really successful. So they talked about pivoting, changing your ideas, going with the flow, doing what's going to work at that particular moment and being flexible and that was what really gave me that uh, the kind of permission to drop or put on hold the glamping idea and to go let's be a bridal seamstress let's just change everything and it's just been fantastic so that's pivot in my head all the time and it's even now uh, a year after having started um, seamstressing as a bridal seamstress things happen where I'm suddenly pivoting, got to change, got to keep evolving, make the most of everything that happens and everything that comes your way. I've, you know, I've recommended it and signposted people to break through already a handful of, of different people who are looking at starting a business of some sort and think that there's all those kind of scary things that you, you don't, you don't know, you don't know what you don't know um, and breakthrough is fantastic for that. So I, yes, I've, would hugely recommend it. Anybody who's thinking, maybe I could break, break free of working and do this amazing idea that I've got. Or maybe you haven't got an amazing idea, but you just want to think about what you could do and meet people who will really help you and give you a supportive nudge or a massive push in the right direction. Um, yeah, go and talk to them. They're fab.